Peterbilt's given me a lot of support over the years in what I do here. On a daily, we use SmartLink. SmartLink is our first line of defense against the downtime and to increase that uptime. My name is Van Gertner. I'm the on-site Peterbilt rep here at Prime. Um, the Larson Group put me down here about nine years ago. I work heavily with uh, the Road Assist Department at Prime. I'm Harley Bumgartner with Prime Road Assist. I, uh, I manage a fleet of about 360 trucks. We're one of the largest reefer carriers in the United States. A lot of Prime's loads are sometimes critical. They call them high value, things that are very monitored. They can't stop these trucks. Once they leave a departure, they have to make it to a destination before they're allowed to stop. And so with the SmartLink, we've had instances where we've got these high value loads and a code comes up. And of course, that's important when it's a load that's not supposed to stop. So we get on, usually a road assist advisor takes a look first, I'll get involved. Can't, you know, is this code something that's gonna shut the truck down? Because if it shuts the truck down, we have protocols to follow. So we can look at these codes and decide if this is something, we can run them to their safe harbor, which may be 200 miles away, and satisfy our obligation to get the load where it needed to be. We use the 579 Peterbilt, and we have roughly 1,400 Peterbilt trucks here at Prime. Anytime I have a driver that calls in that they have any issues at all with their truck, first thing I do is I look it up on our smart link, see if we can find anything wrong with it, see if they've actually got any active codes. The codes in smart link, when they're written in that plain English, it's a little easier for to understand. So you gotta remember too, is that there's not always a technician looking at that, yeah. right? You're talking about a customer's road assist department. The guys may not be technicians, but that plain English where you can see hey, this is what that code is, this is what it means. That SmartLink system allows us to make those decisions. I use the dashboard view of SmartLink to monitor idle time, fuel economy, look at big groups of stuff, to go view what software is up to date. And if they're doing update, we can go ahead and do that over the air using the app and keep them from having to go to the shop. If you've got the uncertainty of what these codes are, you don't know what decisions to make. Having access to SmartLink and, and what we can see in there and what we can do with it, I mean, it helps everybody make the decisions that best suit the driver and the customer. We use SmartLink on a daily basis. It's huge. Now we can look and see, is this a code that's actually going to hurt anything, or is this maybe a maintenance code, something that we need to get looked at, but we're okay to continue for now. We use SmartLink basically to make sure that we're making the best choices for our drivers to get them taken care of.